Former Vice President Mike Pence launching his campaign for president in Iowa, taking questions and shaking hands with voters at a CNN town hall on his 64th birthday. It's uh, one for the books. Right out of the gate, Pence is disputing former President Donald Trump's claims he could have overturned the results of the 2020 election. I felt that he was, he was asking me to choose between him and the Constitution. I chose the Constitution, and I always will. President Trump was wrong then, he's wrong now. The relationship between Trump and Pence fell apart on January 6th when rioters stormed the Capitol, calling for Pence's execution. Trump says he would consider pardoning some of the rioters. Pence disagrees. I have no interest or no intention of pardoning those that, that assaulted police officers or vandalized our Capitol. Pence had this to say about roughly a dozen number of classified documents he found at his residence in Indiana in January. I immediately informed the Department of Justice, and uh, uh, I, I'm grateful after our full cooperation that they concluded that it was an innocent full mistake. But stopped short of saying Trump should be indicted by the special counsel for his alleged mishandling of classified documents. This kind of action by the Department of Justice, I think, would only fuel uh, further division in the country. And let me also say, I think it would also send a terrible message to the wider world. The former vice president also differentiated himself from Trump on foreign policy. When Vladimir Putin rolled into Ukraine, the former president called him a genius. Uh, I know the difference between a genius and a war criminal. And I know who needs to win in the war in Ukraine. And it's the people fighting for their freedom. Pence also signaling to conservative voters that he is their candidate. Well, I strongly support state legislation, including as we did in Indiana, that by that bans all gender transition chemical or surgical procedures for kids under the age of 18. Pence joins a growing field for the Republican nomination, including North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum and former New Jersey Long Governor Chris Christie launched another bid for the White House, making the cornerstone of his campaign rebuking Trump. Trump, in response, posted this video, mocking Christie after the announcement. It just renewed in my own mind what a child he is. He's a baby. Um, whenever you want to criticize him um, in any way, that's the way he responds. 